Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, Vegetable Store Management System. And uh, I have developed this project in Java, JSP, and MySQL. And uh, for server, I am using the Tomcat server. For version of the Tomcat, I am using is the Tomcat version 7. But if you have the Tomcat version 8 or Tomcat version 9, then you can also configure and run this project. For JDK, I am using the JDK version 1.8. Also, if you are using the NetBeans or Eclipse, they, then you can easily configure and run this project on the Eclipse and the NetBeans. But the restriction is that NetBeans and Eclipse must have the Tomcat server and uh, it has the uh, JDK 1.8. Right. So this is the server side requirements, ID requirements. For front end, I am using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used, like calendar plugin. Uh, and the form validations, drop down menus, and so on. So, this is all about a technology which I have used to develop this project. So, let's start with the project functionality go through. So, the project title is Online Vegetable Store, and this is a mini project which I have developed in Java, JSP, and MySQL. And it has only and only uh, admin functionality, means admin will be able to log in and admin can perform the operation. There is no customer login functionality, that's why it's a mini project. So let's start the functionality go through. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a simple show our home page and all the content of this home page is static. So if you want to change the content, then you can change it directly from the HTML code. This is the about us and this is also a static page. And if you want to change the content according to your requirements, then you can change it too. This is the admin login. This is the dynamic and the admin credentials are getting verified from the database. If you don't have the user ID and the correct password, then you will not be logging inside the system, right? Then for logging inside the system, you must have the user ID and password. This is a contact us page and this is a static contact us page. I'm not saving the data of this contact us page anywhere into the database. Also, uh, I'm not sending any type of email and SMS from this contact us page. Okay, so let's uh, login with the admin. So the user ID is admin and the password test. So once you log in, you will get the admin dashboard. So this is the admin dashboard and these operations admin can perform. Then admin can add the vegetable from here. Admin can add the vegetable. So he can add from here. So all of the drop downs are dynamic and the value of these drop downs are coming from the database, right? So all of the drop downs which you, you will see in this project is drop down is uh, dynamic and the value of this uh, drop downs are coming from the database, right? This is the add sale, right? So from here, admin will be able to sell the product, means sell the vegetable. So what he needs to do? He needs to do, enter the admin name, means the customer name, and he can add the items, like I'm adding four items here, right? So you can see quantity one kg so i am comping it everywhere and then 250 20 and then what is the potato cost that is the 20 okay suppose capsicum right so here you need to and the total cost will be calculated automatically right so you can see then uh, this is the totally sell and uh, this has been created by the admin and total amount the uh, customer needs to pay is 290 rupees if you want to remove any of the items then just click on the remove and that uh, cart items will be removed from the cart right and if uh, all okay then click on the save sales once you click on the save sale you will get the receipt and uh, you can print it also from the printer so this is the full flow of the system right so next is the this is the add vegetable from where you will be able to add any number of vegetable this is the add cell from where you will be able to create the cells for the customer this is the vegetable report so all of the vegetable which you have added into the database will be displayed here also these all buttons are functional means if you want to see, uh, import this into the csv format or excel format or pdf format then each and every button is working fine also you can search it from here there, right then you can see you will be able to search it from here right this is the pagination from where you will be able to uh, paginate it means if record is more than 10 records then the pagination will be enabled and uh, you can uh, jump into the next page and previous and next right so this is the report for the vegetable this is a sales report all of the sales which has been made by 
customer uh, admin will be displayed here also admin can see the details of the details of the cells right here you can see okay even so you can see this pagination is enabled now right you can jump on the page on which you want to right this is the right so even you can export it into the pdf and print it so this is all about the functionality which i have developed this in this project right one more thing i want to show you the above menu is totally administrative menu and it will display it only and only if admin login inside the system without that that menu will not be displayed let me click on the logout and you can see the admin menus are not coming if you log in then admin menus are coming right so this is totally session driven dynamic menu okay so this all functionality which i have developed in this project so if you need more functionality in this project just put it, it into the comment i will incorporate those changes and i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much